Hi, welcome. We are going to go over the basics of the Cricut Design Space app just so you can get familiar with it because there's a lot going on and it's pretty straightforward once you figure out where everything goes. Okay, so I made my mouse bigger so hopefully you can see. Let's get started. So over here, there's some different things. We just, we opened up a new, a new page. So I don't ever use templates or projects. I use shapes, click on that. And they have lots of different free shapes you can use. And then there's ones that come with a subscription. If you're going to do a lot of books or just playing around and want to use your Cricut for, you know, other things such as also making shirts or bookmarks or stickers, the access subscription is actually, it's pretty, it's a pretty good price. It's about $10 a month and you get access to, I mean, sure, there's a few shapes there, but, but image wise, I mean, when I first got my Cricut last year, I think it was 200,000 images or so, but now they've got about 500,000 and all of them are free to use if you have the all access subscription. Okay, so let's just start with the basics. Let's just start with a few things to learn about. Cricut. Okay, here's two different shapes and let's change the color on one just so we can sort of see the difference. So here's one shape, it's square, here's a heart. The square I actually use to make my border outlines, but the good thing to know is that you see these corners here. You can go like this, make it bigger, make it smaller. If you want to turn it, go like that, click down, turn it. If you press shift and then click down, it goes in increments. instead of going however you like when you just click down and move it. Holding shift and then moving it, it will go in increments. Oops. Anyways, and then over here, if you can't get it right, you can rotate it back zero. There we go. So, there isn't really an erase function. So what you do instead is if say, I just want half this heart, let's make this bigger. So say, there we go. I just want half this heart. So I can move this box over the heart. So it's like that. And then I would click both of these, select them both. So select one, press shift, select both. The slice tool is basically going to be your delete tool. So press slice. And now you're going to have all these pieces. So here's a piece, here's a piece, but it also took a piece out of there. And there's that. So these are going to be all of your parts from slicing. And just while we're at it, this up here, flip, you can flip, we'll flip your image, flip vertically. Flip. So in case you need the mirror image of something, that's where you would go right here to flip. And then this tool here, if I select all of these, you go over here to align, you could do align left, align right. But if I moved this one down, and let's select all of these again, go to align, align right, they'd all go to the right. So that's how you can work with that tool.
say you want to put those together. So you'll select both of those and then you can come over here and attach them. And then they move as one. Okay. Let's get rid of all of this. Okay, so here, remember how we sit size-wise. You can go big, small, but it stays as a square. That's because currently it's a square shape. However, if you come up over here and you see how this is locked, click that so it's unlocked. You see now? And now I can make it into whatever shape I want. Does that look familiar? Okay, so we'll do this. We'll copy, paste a second one. Let's change the color of it. And that's currently the same size. And the new one that you copy and paste is going to look like that. And it's going to be locked. So you'll need to unlock it it here and then select both of them align center fully center it slice and then you have a border makes sense then you just play with the sizes. Okay, so we're gonna go into images because this is where I find the majority of the images that I use. Look, there's 600,000. Um, they have lots of things, but you need to narrow it down. And another thing you need to do is come over here. You can either be looking for free ones if you don't have the all axis, but it's important for to do orientation type and do cut cut only because that's what you're going to be using for your Cricut. Okay, so let's let's just use the example I did for my book, The Love Hypothesis. Um, beaker. Which one did I use? Oh, I used this one. Okay. And then I think I had hearts too. So, hearts. And you'll see down here that I have the beaker. Hmm. this, see how it's outlined in green, comes down here, at canvas, okay, it's pretty big, let's make it smaller, and then you could have like the hearts coming out of it like that, but I know that when I make this the size that I need it to be, you see how there's all these little circles, I know that those aren't going to cut out well, or just, and so, what I do is I click on this, you come over here to something called contour. And contour basically lets you hide certain parts. So if I clicked on this, do you see how the beaker just went away? But so instead I'm going to click on those three, and then there's just less bubbles in it. So you can do that to any extent you want. You could get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of all the bubbles so it's just a blacked out beaker if you want. So you can sort of change the way everything looks and that's what coming over here to contour. I'm going to put back. Doop, doop. And then I have these hearts coming out 
and right now they're two separate entities so I'm gonna click shift and click on that or you can also conversely just highlight it and you can press attach and then they all move together as one and for this you can do a little turn sideways if you want and then you have a shape Turn it back. Normally, there we go. Okay, let's do some text. So, text here, you can do book title. And then, when you have text, all of these are going to pop up this second row of things. And so you can change the font to anything you want. You can also, not only does it do just the fonts that Cricut has, but it has the system font. So you can download any font you want, you know, from all the different free font sources online. I can't even remember the names of them, but I went on a font downloading spree. And so I've got, you know, oh, my other computer I did. But um, anyways, so choose whatever font you think looks best. Font size, you can change your font size to anything you want. You can change book title. This is a very book. Okay, so down here, you have the same kind of things that you'd see in Word. Line space. Letter space. That type of thing. So you can just sort of do whatever you like. And then if you only have one line, so just boop doop. curve it like that. Okay, so we've covered shapes, images, text. Okay, a few things to know about shapes. However, let's do some simple ones. Again, let's do... Okay. heart and a star. If we want to sort of put those together so that they become one thing, we can go over here and do attach. And then when we attach them, they go together like that. However, if you wanted it to all be one shape so that when this got cut out, it just went around like this and it didn't have this also you would come over here to combine and you would do weld and weld basically it's what you think about it's like you know when you solder something together and it all like melds together it's basically like that so now this is just this is the new shape so it will just cut like that and that's important for making your book 
designs, the way I do at least.